In this video, we will talk about the differences between traditional programming and machine learning. Let's start with a question. How do we code rock, paper, scissors in traditional programming? First of all, we need to let the computer know the rules of the game. It's a two-player game. There are three elements in the game, namely rock, paper, and scissors. So the rules are rock crushes scissors cuts paper covers rock. So let's draw a full chart to illustrate the rules. The first player has three choices, rock, paper, and scissors, while the second player also has three choices. Each combination of choices ends up with a draw, or one of them wins the game. In the traditional programming, we input the data as well as the rule of the game to the computer. Then, the computer will give us the answer. In this case, our inputs are the choices of the two players. With the rules, the computer then designs who will win the game. If you use machine learning to code this game, what are the differences? Before we answer this question, I want to give you an exercise. Can you figure out the relationship between the x and y in this table? The answer is y is equal to 2x minus 1. In supervised learning, computer figures out the root. So with the data and the answer, which we usually call labeled, the computer will find a root which generalizes the output. So with this root, the computer is also able to perform prediction. So if we have an input x is equal to 5, then the computer will make prediction that y is 9 based on the root y is equal to 2x minus 1. Let's get back to the question. How can we code rock, paper, scissors with machine learning? Instead of telling the computer the root, we input the choices of the two players, as well as the results. The computer will figure out the root between x1, x2, and y, where x1 is the choice of player 1, x2 is the choice of player 2, and y is the result. Of course, there are only 9 combinations in rock, paper, scissors. If we input all of these to the computer, this computer does not need to predict anything. But there are many games such as chess and checkers which have more combinations and have more difficult rules. We can't input all the combinations to the computer because the combinations can easily be tens or hundreds of millions. Then, the computer may need to generalize the few input cases and guess what the rules would be. We will have more discussion on AI in games and we will also go deeper in supervised learning in other videos.